Welcome to One Little Coder. I recently got access to Bing GPT or the new Bing, the chatbot that is embedded in the Bing search engine. I don't know how many of you have even heard about Bing, but Bing is actually a search engine from Microsoft that has never been used by a lot of people unless being forced by corporate companies to use because Internet Explorer has been the default browser in a lot of enterprise corporate setup. But if you have been voluntarily trying Bing, you might not have found it very useful until unless this moment came where everybody wanted to try Bing because ChatGPT kind of chatbot has been embedded within Bing. So I naturally wanted to try it out and I recently was fortunate enough to get an access. And when I tried it out, I felt that it has got the same hallucination problem that ChatGPT has got. In fact, one of the things that I noticed is, which I wanted to highlight in this video is, a lot of people have been using Bing like this to summarize a video or to summarize a link. So you give a link and then you ask it to summarize. But what I felt is that I initially thought, in fact, like I tried with my own video. So I said, can I sum can you summarize this? So this is my own video. This is the first one. And this is my video where I actually showed how to use Llama index, how to use Langchain and build a hugging face model, uh, like build a chatbot on top of hugging face model. So it kind of works fine in this case. It is a tutorial on how to build a question and answering chatbot using Llama index Langchain with hugging face models. But this is technically the title of my video. So there is nothing, nothing to do with the chatbot or AI here. This video explains what Llama index and Langchain are, how they work with hugging face models and how to use them to create a chatbot that can answer questions from text source. This video also shows a demo of chatbot in action and provides some resources for further learning. So from the outlook of it, it actually looks uh, like um, it is quite. So from the outlook of it, it looks like it is actually the thing um, what I made. And it also provides some you know references like you can see some references here. And I, there is a there is a twi Twitter link which uh, which takes to the hugging face retweet of my article of my video. So this is all like good, like uh, it, it shows that Bing chat can access internet quite well and it also gives reference. So this actually enhances confidence in the kind of responses it gives. But to my surprise, when I tried with a different video, which is one of my recent favorite video, where this is a video from MKBHD, a very popular YouTuber, like quite an inspiration for a lot of YouTubers like me, Marcus Brownlee. So MKBHD recently said in a video, so I picked this video particularly because it doesn't give out anything in the title. It says, I said yes to every email for a month. And then it says, what are the things that this person actually reviewed? So basically as a popular YouTuber, a lot of people have been asking him to review their products and he decided to say yes for every single product or most of the products in a given month. And then he has given the review of each of the product. So as you can see, it has got a casket. It has got a walkie talkie. It has got uh, some serious P5, portable car stereo, headphones, air conditioner, hand warmer, tri screen, phone, a realme phone and a Memoji case. Like these are the products that you see. Now, when I go to Bing GPT or Bing chat, and then I ask it to summarize this video, it says, okay, I can summarize this for you. It is a video by MKBHD, a popular tech reviewer who decided to say yes to every review request he got for an entire month. That's quite good but also you can deduce this from the title of the video. The video shows some of the weird and random products he received, such as casket. Definitely he received a casket. He didn't receive a toilet seat. He didn't receive a fake plant. He didn't receive a massage gun. So it shows such as four products and out of four product casket is the only thing that is listed in this video. There is no toilet seat. There is no fake plant. There is no massage gun. And uh, the video also review reveals how much money he spent on shipping fees. No, I watched the entire video. There is no reference about shipping fees. How many he emails he had to deal with? Like he talks about the number of emails, but uh, there is no shipping fees. Uh, like he doesn't talk about at least his own shipping fees. The video is meant to be humorous and entertaining. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Thanks Bing to tell me how to use this. Now, when I said, I think the description you gave is wrong. It says I tried to summarize based on the information. Once again, it feels that it, it, um, it, it shows the confidence in the approach. But now when I say, I don't see the toilet seat in the video, 
it again looks for it it says i made a mistake i confused toilet seat with another product it's quite a blanket statement um I, i like anybody can say you know what like sorry i made a mistake instead of uh, the particular product that i mentioned it should have been some other product so that's a, that's a, that's the thing that i see here so now the point the i decided to make this video is i wanted to make an extensive video about being how useful it is it's definitely useful but what i feel is once again the problems with the chat or large language model world exist here as a search engine a lot of times when people search here people especially when they chat they think that this is true this is real whatever you're looking at is actually a factual information especially given that it gives us a reference even though it gives us a reference it's not completely true i think that's that's the entire point of this video is that large language models hallucinate their hallucination is part of their creativity process especially with bing gpt or bing chat you can set up the settings to be either highly precise highly creative more balanced i got these things while i have kept the settings more balanced i don't know what will happen if i say more precise but at least it seems like when you ask them to do something like this it uh, i feel like it doesn't go really well like especially with youtube videos might be really good with urls but at least like with youtube videos it doesn't seem like it is doing a good job and when it doesn't do a good job it doesn't tell us that it doesn't do a good job but instead it hallucinates so this is basically me wanting to tell you that anything that comes out of this please do not believe blindly please always do your own due diligence because as usual a large language model is supposed to hallucinate and that's that's part of the that's that's a feature not a bug in certain cases it may not work out especially in cases like this it doesn't make sense but that's what a large language model do like you ask it to write an essay it can write an essay but it's it's supposed to be creative when it writes an essay so overall i would love to hear from you about your bing chat experience also made a very uh, tough choice life choice of downloading edge browser so what did you feel about it let me know in the comment section see you in another video happy prompting